everybody. This is Danny, you and me living free. I'm here with my new friend Clara. Hi, Clara. Hi, everybody out in YouTube world. <laughs> We're going to tour her Honda CRV today, you guys. I can't wait for you to see it. It's so cool. All right, Clara, dear, why don't you start to take us through? This is seriously, this is like, could be like my favorite vehicle that I that I've toured. This is fantastic. How many YouTube videos do you think you have watched to pick up all this and to just get all these ideas? And did your did you and your husband kind of put together some? What did you where did you get all this? Uh, I, I started watching the YouTube videos when I was in isolation during COVID. Literally, I was in my bedroom and the bathroom and my husband would crack open the door and say, are you hungry? Do I need to bring you some water? And I thought, <laughs> you can only watch so much television. So I started doing YouTube and I watched Bob Wells. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I started with Doug and Stacy because I live in the country. I thought, you yeah, know, homesteading. I'll learn oh, how to yeah. do some of this stuff. Yeah, that, I'm not a homesteader. <laughs> so then they sent me to Bob Wells. I started watching Bob Wells. He really talked about starting and what you have you know because i had all these visions of this oh this conversion van and i'm going to do this and do that we have a, a honda 2020 crv so this is i started watching videos on uh how to set up a crv yeah so that's what started it all okay awesome okay show us so this is coming in on the side i took this has the split seat so I took out the wide one and I turned that into my bed area. And I kept this. Kept um, your chair right here. Yep. And I put, I took a shower uh, vinyl tablecloth and I just showed the top like a slip on, like a pillowcase uh -huh. and slipped that over first because you know, right there's my bucket. Oh yeah. And so I thought, you know, if I'm gonna be climbing into that bucket and out of that bucket <laughs> at night. What bucket I, is that, Clara? That is my, <laughs> this is my bathroom. Yay. Yes, and of course it had to be two and a half gallons. I couldn't put a five gallon in Right. Here, even big. though I'm short. Yeah. <laughs> right there's all my supplies. I like the horse pellets for the scent. Oh, nice, yeah. But I thought um, I would try the the, the powder that when you put it in, it turns your water into jelly, like Gel. a baby's uh -huh. diaper. Yeah, I have some of that Echo Lab stuff. Yeah. But I double bag it, so I've got bags in there. Yeah. Looks like I got a little condensation in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Clean that out when I get home. <laughs> so then for absorbency, I put did the same thing. I took a towel and sewed it on the back of the be uh, beach towel. Yeah. And slipped it over. Nice. Okay, and then we have your bed. I will pull back and let you get in and show us, but I just want to do, let's do the one, let's look at the whole thing, and then we can pull back, and Claire's going to hop in and show us. Man, this is awesome. I love this bed, and you can actually sit up in bed. I want you to show us that. Just had um, just a quilt topper that I folded over. Uh -huh. And I got this because of its versatility, and I saw this, D had it. D her, Lady Bug Out. D from Lady Bug Out. Uh -huh. Yeah, see, I just assume everybody knows, right? <laughs> and then you take and you can set it up. It's got 14 different. 14 different positions. Yes, positions. Oh, yeah. So this morning, it's it's cold here. I've got my wool blanket and a comforter that a dear friend, Marilyn, thank you, Marilyn, gave to me, a down comforter. And I was sitting wrapped up propped up in the bed while I waited for it to warm up outside. So then if you want it to go back flat, you just push it all the way and it comes back flat. Oh, and, that's fantastic. Oh yeah, something like that. I like it. I, I've enjoyed it. That was a very positive What's addition. the stuffing in the sunflower pillow? <laughs> this is my dirty clothes. Yay! Um, I love which, ingenious solutions for stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And decorative. Yeah. Oh, and I also, I put a, a baggie in there uh -huh. You know, dirty clothes can not not smell the nicest. <laughs> so anything that I'm worried about, I have one of the, it's like a four gallon yeah. baggy. That's awesome. I've actually had had to wipe the uh, inside inside windows. of my windows. My back window literally was dripping. Yeah. When I took the the screen off of it, and I used my rain tea, tree towel. This thing is fantastic. Yeah, I think these are a key for van life. And I have like three oh, different brands. Rain Leaf, sorry. Rain Leaf. Rain I have leaf. three different brands of these and they all work amazingly the same. You never have to worry about mildew or anything. They dry so fast. Yeah. And it's a different feel. Uh -huh. At first when I yeah. when you wipe 
dry off with it. It's a different feel. Yeah. But boy, once you, you, it just sucks the water off of you. You know what I do? What I, what I decided is instead of rubbing like you would with a normal towel, you pat with those. Okay. And they just soak it right up. Yeah. Because if you try to like rub across your back or whatever, you're like, well, this doesn't feel very good. It gets kind of stuck. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. But then when you see how quick it dries, I can adjust to that. Yeah, me it, too. Yeah. And I, I have it. the, and for, for anybody who's plus sized or anything, if you are in an environment where you have to shower under the people or whatever they have those as big as beach towels because that's what mine are beach towels so yeah. that they'll wrap completely around me if I need to yeah yeah and I really think nice something Danny talked about earlier that makes sense is to take the hand tail hand towel size cut them in half for wash rags yeah that's what I did yeah because yeah. I have I got the Norex to just try one some yes. Norex rags yeah this takes a lot longer to dry than yeah, the regular. But not as much as a regular. Oh, no, no. It's better than a regular towel. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, we'll do we'll do that hanging rack when we get to the other side because I think that's ingenious too. <laughs> okay. This with Danny. These are scrubs. Um, somebody demonstrated these at Elaine's retreat in uh -huh. Colorado. Mm -hmm. And so I went... Elaine, see, travel grandma. A travel grandma. <laughs> I started calling Shout grandma, out. but I, you know... <laughs> Hi, Elaine. <laughs> I hope you see this. Um, and then it was Lisa, Lisa, that yes. demonstrated these. So uh, you just wet them a little bit. You don't need a whole lot of water. Yeah. And you, so I tried them out at home. You wipe your whole body off, yep. whole body. And then you don't even rinse. And I thought, yeah, and you're going to feel sticky or there's going to be some kind of residue. There is not, you guys. And they come in lavender scent, but I didn't want the scent in. And there were four packs. There's 25 in each pack, and they were like $30 yeah. on Amazon. On Amazon. Yay. Yeah. Okay, Super love cheap. that. Super cheap. Okay, what do we got back here then? Okay, because I'm using where I usually store my uh, covers yes. as a closet. Yes, we'll see that in just a minute. Yep. I Normally have these, those would have a spot. Yep, they have a spot. But this is where I do my cooking. And part of this chair system, if you look it up, this folds up. Oh. So that stays much better than my topper did. Yeah. And I pull this back, and I can cook here. Yes. So, here, my stove is hooked here, so it doesn't slide around. That My husband built this so my drawers wouldn't slide open. Ah. So I would just set my stove up here. Yep. My water. Cutted. This is my, yeah, I got these. So I, I thought, where am I going to put them? I got it. This is my cleaning station. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm trying to streamline things. So I've got my wind block here. Mm -hmm. I've got my spoon and fork here. That That's a, a work in progress of streamlining things. Yeah. Love that bag though. Very versatile. Yeah. Oh, I have one mesh. like that for all my toiletries and all my stuff like that. So here's my oatmeal, which I've used that twice since I've been here. So if I show you my food box, and David built this shelf for me mm -hmm. so I could easily slide oh, my food oh, box yeah. in there. I have in here packets of oatmeal and packets of pancake mix with flax. I oh, like the nutty nice. flavor. So I would take out one of my oatmeal packets, put that in my Stanley cup, boil my water in my pot, which is right over here to the side. Yep. And I got a lid, a lid for it, and so it boils super quick. Nice. Super quick. I also got this, a new fry pan. Ooh. Yep, and all that fits over there. And this is my new trash can, which I got at Aldi's. I love that. It was like $7. Ah! Oh, see, it needs to be empty. That's great. So I would put my oatmeal in <laughs> you here. Know I do too. It's got measurements on the side. Oh, nice. Add my boiling water. Put my lid on. And then slip it back into its reflectix. <laughs> so I do that first. Genius. Yep. I do that first, and then I go make my coffee while I'm waiting for my oatmeal. Because this, this sets for a little bit. So then I've got in here, I've got my almonds, and I've got my cranberries for my oatmeal peanut butter and jelly, nuts for snacks. I have a couple of these dried meals. Yep. Can't beat that. So there's how I cook. And all that will slide right back under. Uh, these creamers, I learned something about this too. I just put a few in a bag. Yeah. Well, 
er, these, you know, then I would shove it back oh, in here. Yeah, and they things, leaked everywhere. Mm -hmm. It was a mess. So keep them in the box. Yep. Lesson learned there. Okay. This I love. You're going to have to talk to me about this. This piece of PVC um, PVC pipe pipe right here. Yep. But the the genius too is just in its simplicity, but in the details. I feel like, right? <laughs> because how is it attached right to? Here. This, oh yeah. This wrap it. Yep. And it's just Velcro. Yeah. Those rapid things are just Velcro. And I think I looked. I think those are on Amazon, aren't they? Oh, I'm sure. I'm yeah. Sure. And, I mean, you could use a zip tie or something, but then you wouldn't have the versatility to be able to, you know, you can take it off. It's just Velcro. You can take it off if yeah. you want, put it back up. Unwrap it. And then, like I said, geniuses in the detail. These hair ties that keep the little S hooks from all bunching down at one end or the other. Mm -hmm. She's got her, her lamp. She's got her headlamp. Or Lucy like these are all the essentials van life essentials, right? Oh these little these, You got to have one of these little hand little Guess hand broom. broom. Yep uh, I love it and see this is where she was saying earlier that this is where she would normally keep Your reflectix for the windows, Correct. but this time you brought a few clothes on hangers And so that's here now. So the reflectix stuff is in on the back of the yeah, on the back of the bed It's my closet. Yeah, you're cl <laughs> so you have a closet yeah, my literally closet. When, when I started doing the Reflectix on the side, they were, they were always flopping over on me while I was trying to sleep. Oh, yeah. So David built this for me, and it's just cardboard, and then I wanted it to be pretty, so I wrapped it in <laughs> wallpaper. Yeah. Which you really can't see, but I know it's there. Yeah, no, you can yep. definitely. Yep. So it does, it helps to hold in my Reflectix. It, it keeps the stuff that's stored up in here behind the seat. Here's my table. It keeps the stuff up here from pushing onto the reflectix and the, everything slipping. So yeah, yeah. Here's your table. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, the use of space is just genius. Your your little fold up table. Uh -huh. Yep. We all my have. We all have to have one of those. There. Okay. Let's look. Take a look at this passenger seat. This is valuable space for a <laughs> lot of us, right? Yes. You got your bug spray and stuff like that. Uh, water. And then what do you put down here on the bottom? At the very bottom, the red is my cooler. Uh huh. Oh, and nice. then my, I believe the black is my sunscreen. Uh huh. And my empty water bottle. Good. My gallon jugs, which are super nice to have. Yeah. I had to go and buy. I oh, was, those collapsible ones. Yes. Yeah, nice. Did you you want to see one? Yeah. You know, like that. Oh yes. Easy to fill, holds a gallon. Yes. Easy to pour out of. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, I love that. My son got those for me. Nice. This is my, I had to go, I, can't, I couldn't believe it. I didn't bring a jacket, I didn't bring a hat, so I had to go shopping because it's cold <laughs> here. So that's what this is, you know. Yep, because of course, stuff you throw in. I brought other stuff. We've talked about these, and I have one on my um, one of my van tours too that quilted that fits right across your yeah the front, and I have one for the back too. I just got the same one as the front. I just stuck it on the back. But yeah. we were saying just make sure if it rains you pull it in because yeah. they soak up water because they're kind of they're quilting and the the trim yeah and just the condens last night this morning there was frost on my car yeah and this bottom part was just soaked it was just soaked. <laughs> Yeah. So I had it on the car trying to get it to dry out. This has been such a handy thing. Um, yeah. It's a draw. It's from Drive Auto Products, uh -huh. and it's the expandable. You can see my folded flap here. Yeah. Uh, that you there's, typically people would put it in the back right. of a car. And you've got it right here. And I've got it right here. Passenger. So for all the stuff that you need. Yeah, my Atlas, the, my charging cables, pencils, my medication. Yeah. Uh, it's just wonderful. Pockets here. It's got my bricks in it. Pockets on the other side, and I've got a, a tub underneath it that's got my, you know, uh, tent stakes, my magnets. Mm -hmm. So, and I, you know, just wasn't sure what to bring, and I haven't gotten into that very much, but I did bring a coat, so, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm sitting at the picnic table making a list of things you need to have because you never know what the weather's going to do to you. <laughs> you don't. No. You don't. No. Oh, Clara, this was fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> Thank you.